If you haven't already done so, activate the Images as Planes add-on by going to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, searching for Images, and checking the box next to the Images as Planes add-on. Now you can go to the Add menu and choose Images, Images as Planes. To see your image in the viewport, set your shading options to either Rendered or Material Preview. I'm going to use Rendered so I can see the shadows. Move your image in the viewport by hitting G, then X, Y, or Z. Rotate your image by hitting R, then X, Y, or Z. You've probably noticed that our shadow doesn't match the silhouette of our character. To fix this, we'll go over to the Materials Property tab, scroll all the way down to Settings, and set the Shadow Mode to Alpha Clip. While we're here, change the Blend Mode to Alpha Clip as well. When you change to Alpha Clip, you may want to play with the clip threshold to clean up the edges. To change the location of your shadows, select your lights and move them using the G key. If you notice a gap between your shadow and the image plane, you can fix this by selecting your light and going to the Light Properties tab then finding the shadow settings, opening those up, and adjusting the bias. Well, this fella seems to be settling in pretty nicely. So let's leave it there and see what you guys come up with.